out of proportion. In a way, you could think of thalassophobia as fear of large things, too, and not just of the ocean itself. Part of the fear of being in the ocean is being aware of how incredibly small and helpless you are inside something that is incomprehensible and also overwhelmingly huge. On land, we can comprehend the proportions of our world, and even great creatures like elephants aren't particularly scary. But nothing compares to the beasts hiding in the shadows of the water, waiting to consume us at any moment. A Garden of Eels Can you imagine seeing this on land? It's like a mythical nightmare. Seeing creatures slither around on land is scary enough. An unsuspecting diver above a scene like this might mistake these for reeds or seaweed, but this is literally a garden of eels. There are simply tons of them. Not all, but some eels can be very dangerous to humans. These ones mostly just look creepy, but they're supposedly unlikely to harm you. People refer to eels' movements together like this as a party, but this is a party I don't want to be invited to. Open wide, buddy. Just looking at this picture is enough to get your heart beating fast, so anyone with a heart condition should click next as soon as possible. Given how close this whale shark is to the diver, the diver should be swimming a little bit faster instead of trying to catch another picture. Whale sharks are known to be quite docile, actually. They typically swim with their mouths open to catch fish. If you see one coming your way, move out of the way, or you might find yourself sucked in along with the fish by accident. Oops. The Vampire Squid this umbrella-looking thing is called a vampire squid. It's relatively tiny, getting up to a maximum of 6 inches in length. Its name came from the red coloring, glowing bioluminescent eyes, and the webbing that connects its eight arms, which looks like a vampire's cloak. Interestingly, it's actually a squid, but in its own separate family. Its scientific name, Vambryotuthis infernalis, directly translates to vampire squid from hell. I think that pretty much sums it up. The Sarcastic Fringe Head Yes, that's the official name for this multicolored monster that instantly reminded me of that dinosaur that ate Newman from Seinfeld on Jurassic Park. Remember that scene? I swear it was the same creature. The Sarcastic Fringe Head looks a lot less harmful when it isn't provoked, and believe it or not, it possesses no threat to humans whatsoever. But when this foot-long fish is agitated, it opens its massive mouth in an attempt to fend off predators. The Black Dragonfish Aren't these names just hilarious? Ironic or not, the names they give to these sea creatures are both scary and funny at the same time. And here's a fun fact, only the female black dragonfish has the frightening appearance of looking like an alien. The Shorthorn Fangtooth Fish Sharks are scary, but at least you can see them. The Shorthorn Fangtooth Fish measures at half the size of the regular fangtooth fish, which is only about 9 centimeters long. Most of his body is teeth, hence the name. These Dracula-like sea monsters are uncrushable. Their tiny little bodies are built to withstand 500 times more water pressure than the human being. So it's basically a pint-sized vampire in a full suit of armor and ready to go to war. Goblin Sharks The goblin shark comes from a long line of deep-sea predators, and its ancestors go as far as prehistoric times. Get this, it has a detachable jaw and can sense prey based on the excretion of electric fields. It's a rare but deadly swimmer that ambushes and sucks in its prey like a vacuum. An internal jaw protrudes out and goes in for the kill. This shark is also prey for other larger sharks, so in the event that you survive a bite and are left bleeding in the water, bigger, deadlier sharks are on their way. The Blobfish This funny-looking gooey thing is a blobfish that lives at depths of over 1,200 meters. It's mostly found in the deep waters of Australia and New Zealand. The pressure there is several dozen times higher than at the surface. That means that as a result, its body is basically just a gelatinous mass. In other words, a blob. And that's why this fish was so aptly named, kind of like all the other sea life on this list. The Snaggletooth There aren't many terms that I can use to describe this deep-sea critter thing that doesn't include the words ugly, so let me go ahead and say that this ugly sea serpent is one of the more frightening on this list. Like some of the other deep-sea animals on this list, due to the fact that it lives so deep in the ocean, it's capable of making its own light and uses this ability to hunt its prey. Keep in mind that at the bottom of the ocean, it's pitch black. Viperfish 
if things couldn't get scarier, I would like to introduce you to the viperfish. During the day, this sea animal stays in deep water, but at night, it's been known to venture into shallower waters and into the nets of deep sea fishermen. They don't do a good job surviving very well in captivity, however, so there isn't a lot that is known about them, but in terms of their appearance, it warrants a spot on this list. Big Red Jellyfish This thing right here is a deep sea creature, so you won't be seeing it any time while swimming at the beach or at the lake. It's a one meter long jellyfish that uses its fleshy arms to capture its prey. Tiberonia granrojo is the scientific name. It's one of the largest sea jellies in the world and very unusual. They live at ocean depths of 600 to 1500 meters and have been found across the Pacific Ocean in the Gulf of California, Monterey Bay, Hawaii, and also Japan. Megamouth Shark This remarkable photo is showing us a species of shark that is known as the Megamouth Shark, which can grow up to 5.5 meters in length. And amazingly, it wasn't discovered until 1976. At the time, it must have been a crazy discovery. The Megachasma pelagios, its scientific name, is a species of deep water shark. It's rarely seen by humans and is actually the smallest of the three extant filter feeding sharks, next to the whale shark and basking shark. Coelacanths Yes, things can hide down in the sea for about 70 million years. Coelacanths were thought to be extinct since before the dinosaurs roamed the Earth. In 1938, a dead specimen washed up in South Africa. Scientists have studied their genome and found that they look pretty much the same for the last 70 million years. They also evolved at a very slow speed. Interestingly, these fish are more closely related to humans than tuna. Deep Sea Gigantism Deep Sea Gigantism is a phenomenon where many animals found in the deep sea are a whole lot larger than their shallow water relatives. And the thing is, no one really knows why. One theory is that it's because it's so cold down there, about 0 to 3 Celsius, so they grow larger to be more heat efficient. Another theory is that the larger size is a product of animals evolving in order to delay sexual maturity due to the scarcity of food. This photo is of a giant isopod. It's another one of those living fossils that have been around since all the continents were stuck together in one big piece. The giant oarfish. What you're looking at here is a giant oarfish, which is a species of oarfish of the family Regalicidae. It's an ocean dramatist species that is found all over the world, except for the polar regions. Other common names for the name of the fish include Pacific oarfish, king of herrings, ribbonfish, and streamerfish. This is the world's longest bony fish, and here it took 16 men to hold the damn thing. Not what you expect to see. Imagine going for a swim or snorkeling and coming face to face with this beast. This photo shows a whale shark, which is the largest non cetacean animal in the world. A typical adult male comes in at 32 feet long and weighs up to 20,000 pounds. Their mouths are simply huge at almost 5 feet wide and have up to 350 rows of razor-sharp teeth. This is a creature you definitely want to avoid, and the fact that they're so close to the surface is awfully scary. A safety cage Shark diving is considered a safe and fun tourist activity. Can you believe it? You can't pay me to do that. But anyways, divers descend into the water in scuba gear with oxygen tanks and from the safety of the cage they get up close and personal with sharks. But in Mexico, things went terribly wrong, as you see in this photo. A particularly hungry great white managed to force his way into the cage. Let's just be thankful that no divers were hurt. A whale of a time. Seeing a massive creature like this can really give us a reality check about how tiny we are as humans. On land, humans are at the top of the food chain due to our intelligence. We've evolved to make our way up there. But all the weapons in the world won't do us any favors if we're underwater with one of these creatures that weighs several tons, like this humpback whale. With one small shift of its tail, we're dead meat, or dessert. A surfer with a death wish. This frightening shot is from an even more frightening video. The man in this photo is Mick Fanning, and he's an Australian professional surfer. This was taken when he was competing in an international contest in South Africa, and a shark decided to circle him. Amazingly, he was attacked by a shark just two years before this incident, but walked away with only minor injuries. Some boaters nearby spotted the shark and quickly took Mick to safety. I have no words. Scientists took to Twitter. 
Scientists took to Twitter last Halloween. The feed hashtag spook war was where some of the most knowledgeable deep sea researchers shared their most terrifying underwater moments. One of the photos was this one of the orange sea toad Chanakops, characterized by its lore gadget on top of its head and the strange placement of its gill opening. Colorful Kings of the Ocean Floor These are the colorful kings of the ocean floor, also known as the squat lobster. According to the Aquarium of the Pacific, Pleuronchodes monodon are on sea floors around the world by sea mounts, canyons, and hydrothermal vents. Squat lobsters are dorsoventrally flattened crustaceans with long tails that they hold curled beneath the cephalothorax, whatever that means. How's this for creepy? If you consider yourself to have a case of thessalophobia, then Froima sedentaria will do the trick. This midwater amphipod makes a home in dead gelatinous animals to lay its eggs inside, according to the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, MBARI. How's that for creepy? This critter decides to find carcasses to lay her eggs inside. When we say bun in the oven, this thing says eggs in dead gelatinous animals. The Anglerfish Then we have the haunting, forever angry-looking Lephiaformes. The carnivorous bony fish can reach up to 3.3 feet in length and weigh up to 110 pounds. Male anglerfish look different from females since their sole purpose is to attach themselves to a female and knock her up. Named for its luring tactic, the anglerfish uses a natural luring technique reminiscent of your grandpa's fishing pole. There are more than 200 species of anglerfish, mostly in the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans, all of them equally as ugly. The Translucent Sea Cucumber The translucent sea cucumber makes the Gulf of Mexico its home at around 9,000 feet below the surface. What you see in this photo is what appears to be the animal's digestive tract. Apparently, sea cucumbers are extremely sensitive and don't really like being touched, so even if you do see one, it's best not to touch it. The Fangtooth The name Fangtooth Anoplogaster cornuta makes a lot of sense. Though they look ferocious, they only measure 6 inches in length and typically dine on smaller fish and crustaceans. Although they spend most of their time in the deep ocean, common fangtooths are known to migrate up to the surface at night after they eat. Common fangtooths are more active than other deep-sea fish and seek out food. Not for arachnophobes Sorry, arachnophobes, but spiders also exist in the deepest parts of the ocean. Though they measure just a centimeter or less, Pycnogonids in the deep grow much bigger by sucking the juices out of jellyfish with their straw-like mouths. Their bodies are so small that their digestive tracts extend into their legs. Do you think spiders are scary? I don't know how scary they are, as they are gross. If a lizard and a fish made a baby The deep-sea lizardfish looks like a lizard and a fish made a baby. Bathosaurus mollus can be up to 31 inches in length and live on the seafloor deeper than 4,900 feet. This particular one was spotted at 7,800 feet at the Davidson Seamount. The lizardfish gets its name from its lizard-like appearance, and this is a fish you wouldn't want to put in your aquarium. I have no words. Okay, so when I saw this photo, my heart stopped for a moment. Those are whales. Yes, whales. While most people would like to see mountains on the side of the water, some people see these giant creatures. To be honest, I can't even tell if this is real or if it was photoshopped, but if it's real, then I really don't have any words. I don't know how these two people aren't fainting. Sharks are older. Did you know that sharks are way older than dinosaurs and trees? Sharks survived everything the world threw at them, so you can kind of say they're like cockroaches too and will survive a possible apocalypse. You gotta admit, that's both terrifying and impressive. According to research, sharks have been around for 400 to 450 million years. In fact, there are a few other sea species that predate trees as well. The pressure is on. So you know how water is truly powerful? Well, the thing is, the pressure at the bottom of the ocean would actually crush us humans like ants. The deepest part of the Mariana Trench is about 35,802 feet. There, the water pressure is 8 tons per square inch. That's the equivalent of a person holding 50 jumbo jets. Yeah, it's unfathomable even to imagine it. It's just more proof that the ocean is like space. <laughs>